Suppose we have a triangle, a cube, or a regular dodecahedron. There is an ant sitting at each vertex of each shape. Suddenly, each ant randomly chooses a neighboring edge and walks along it to the next vertex. What is the probability that no two ants collide? These problems rise in difficulty quite sharply. How many can you solve? Try your hand and let me know in the comments or just watch on. Remember that ants are allowed to collide neither on a vertex nor on an edge. Since each ant can move either left or right, there are eight possible scenarios in total. However, in only two of them no collisions happen, when all of the ants move right or when all of them move left. The fact that we have two desired outcomes out of eight possibilities gives us probability of two over eight. That is one quarter or 25%. There are eight ants now, and each can choose from three vertices to go to. Total number of possible scenarios is the product of the individual ants' options. That is 3 to the power of 8, or 6,561. In how many of them no collisions happen? Let's focus on a single ant. It needs to move somewhere, and it will displace the ant in that location. The second ant also needs to move somewhere. It will displace a third ant, and so on. The only way to wrap this up without collisions is that one of the later ants decides to go to the first ant's original vertex, which is now free to be arrived at. In other words, the ants move in a cycle. But by the same logic, this needs to be true for each remaining ant too. It follows that all non-colliding motions for the ants consist of a number of non-overlapping cycles on the cube's edges, which together cover all of the vertices. How many ways can the ants move on a given cycle cover? Ants on any cycle can choose each of the two available directions, clockwise or counterclockwise. Thus there are two to the number of cycles options. How many cycle covers are there? Notice that each cycle encloses some of the cube's faces. We have already seen cycles enclosing one cube face. There are three covers built from these, one for each pair of opposite faces. There can be no cycles enclosing two cube faces, as the remaining two ants wouldn't have a cycle to move on. There can however be a cycle enclosing three faces, making all the ants move on a single cycle. As usual, ants can move both directions. What's the number of these? Imagine the three faces as a shape made from cut and folded paper. We have six choices where to put the middle part of the shape. Then we have two distinct rotations keeping the middle part in place. That gives 12 options. However, we have overcounted by a factor of two, since each shape gives rise to the same boundary cycle as the rotated shape opposite of it. Let's sum up the results. We have three covers made of a pair of cycles. Each of these contributes for good ways to move. And we have six covers made of a single cycle, contributing two good ways each. Together we have 20 for good ways out of 6,561, which gives the sought probability. A regular dodecahedron consists of 12 pentagonal faces. However, to analyze the ant motions, we only need to care about its edge structure. So let's redraw the picture a bit. We face the same task of finding cycle covers. And again, we'll use the fact that any cycle is a boundary of a number of faces. Can we have a cycle enclosing single face? There's no immediate obstacle to be seen. Can we however have a cover made entirely out of single face cycles? Well, if we did, there would be without loss of generality another cycle let's say here. But that's a problem. Can you see it? This vertex couldn't be covered by any further cycle, since it only has one remaining uncovered neighbor. So we absolutely need cycles around more than one face. Can we have a cycle around two faces? Let's cross out edges that can't be included in any further cycle.
At the same time, these vertices need to be covered. So they need to have both an ingoing and an outgoing cycle edge. And there are only two edges available, so we need to use them. But now we have two remaining vertices that can't be placed on a cycle, so there can't be a cycle around two faces. Can we have a cycle around three faces? This configuration would trap the middle ant. And in this configuration, this ant wouldn't find a cycle, therefore we have excluded three-face cycles. What about four-face cycles? Nope. Nope. And nope. Five-face cycles. Nope. And I'll leave the remaining few easy cases for you to check out. So six-face cycles are our only remaining hope, as a cycle around seven faces would be the same as a cycle around five. I'll leave the bad cases for you to exclude, but finally, at last, this cycle can be completed into a cycle cover with two single-face cycles around a pair of opposite faces. What's more, there will be six of these, one for each pair of opposite dodecahedron faces. And there is another one, covering all of the vertices by itself. We call a cycle like that a Hamiltonian cycle. How many of them do we have? Let's pass back to 3D. We have 12 options to pick as the starting face of the Hamiltonian 6 face. There are 5 ways to choose the second one, as it needs to neighbor the first. There are 2 ways to pick the third. It may seem we still have 2 options for the fourth face, but actually one of the options can't be continued to a full 6 face, so we need to choose the other one. Then the remaining 2 faces are determined uniquely. It seems we have found 120 options. Is that a good number? Of course not. First, we counted each six face from both of its ends, since it's rotationally symmetric. Let's see it. Color one end green and the other red. Now by a suitable rotation we get the same shape with ends switched. So there are only 66 face shapes. Moreover, there's no need to count both a six face and its complement, since these give the same boundary cycle. To show that we actually did count the complementary six-face, let's rotate it to see it's the same shape as the original one, therefore it was already counted. So while there are 66 face shapes, they give rise to only 30 Hamiltonian cycles. Let's summarize our results. There are six covers made of three cycles each providing eight good ant motions, and there are 30 Hamiltonian cycles, each providing two good ant motions. Thus there are 108 good ant motions and the final probability is minuscule. If you enjoyed the ant problems, you can try solving them for the remaining platonic solids. Let me know your results in the comments, and if you're a bit academically inclined, Try to think of them in context of general graph theory and algorithms. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, and see you next time.